Hi guys and welcome. I have been away for the past week. I had a really bad cold, so I've been off the whole YouTube scene. I looked and sounded like death, so there was no way that I was going to be filming. So anyways, I'm back. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm a little bit nasally, but I'm definitely back. So what I'm going to talk about today is um, fall products that I've been loving and using daily, you know, things I've been loving thus far. Um, these are things that I really truly have been using every single day um, and I've been really enjoying them. So the first thing I'm going to talk about really isn't beauty, it's more health than anything and you guys are probably going to think I'm crazy that I'm going to talk about this but um, I've been sick so I thought I'm going to talk about things that I haven't been able to live without since, since I got in this stupid cold. Anyways, the first thing is nasal mist, it's a saline spray. You guys are probably like, what is she doing? Anyways, I love this stuff. It's incredible. My boyfriend's mom got me on this probably like last spring and um, I used it, loved it. It's uh, it sort of like lubricates your nostrils. So when you're super um, ill and your nose gets all dry and stuff, you just take the cap off and give her a and spray it up your nose. And it works really amazingly. I probably use it way too much. I don't know. I probably have the most moist nostrils in town so love it love this stuff uh it's from walmart and i think it was i'm not sure i can't tell you the price i have no idea uh god i'm so good at this anyways the next thing is the tylenol cold nighttime holy crap what did i do before this i'm not entirely even sure um this stuff is just like a miracle in a bottle um i swear to you i've been sleeping like 12 hour nights since I've been taking this. I kind of want to take it even when I'm not sick. I wouldn't do that, okay? But I'm just saying, this stuff is really, really great. It makes you sleep like a baby. Um, Because Tyler was getting irritated. He's like, I cannot sleep when you are sick because you don't sleep. And when you're tossing and turning, I toss and turn. And so it's a vicious cycle. Anyways, this, this stuff has really saved uh, me since I got sick. And... A little goes a long way. Take two tablets and you'll sleep like a baby. Okay? Love it. I don't know. I can see how it can be addicting though. Not sure. Um, oh, one more thing. is, Don't take this and have a drink. Because let me tell you, uh, I went out to the pub on Friday when I wasn't even feeling good. I don't know why I went out. I probably looked like absolute hell. Anyways, went out, played some music, bingo, had a couple drinks, came home and took two of these. I probably slept like 14 hours that night. So probably not a good thing to mix it with. Probably shouldn't have told you guys that. Probably too much information. Um, <clears throat> okay, so it's fall, winter time's almost here, or whatever, Christmas. Oh my god, Christmas is almost here. It's like seven Saturdays until Christmas. Um, my hair and my skin gets incredibly dry, just like everybody else. Um, we're lucky here on the West Coast because at least we have a little bit of moisture in the air uh, compared to like the prairies and stuff where it gets it's just incredibly dry all the time minus 20 30 winds horrific sorry could never live there could never ever live there um we're here on the west coast we we do have that ocean and a little bit of breeze and so there's a little bit of moisture in the air but my hair still gets so dry and my skin too so what I've been using for my hair and loving is the Kenra Color Maintenance Shampoo and Conditioner. I was using the Kenra Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner, but it just wasn't a heavy enough conditioner for me. Uh, it was just too light and my hair was still feeling really dry and brittle. So ever since I switched to this, which was about three weeks ago, I've been loving it. Uh, and this stuff's amazing. And the price point is really, really good too. It smells good. I can't even smell right now. I don't know why I'm doing that. But uh, it smells good. Works amazing. Love it. Um, the other thing for my hair is um, when it comes to... Where is it? There it is. When it comes to your hair being dry in the winter. I use this all year round, but I double up in the, in the fall and winter. It's the Moroccan oil. I uh, love this stuff. Um, I probably use it, well, every time I get, out of the I get out of the shower, I put this in through my ends. Don't put it in near your roots because you're just going to look like a grease ball. It's not going to be cute. But, uh, I put this in my ends and whatever's left over, I rub on my skin. It smells incredible. It has like a really coconutty 
smell to it. I also swim, so I um, put this in my ends before I even get in the pool and then after as well. So this is a Moroccan oil. The other thing I have been loving for my hair, one of my reps, well, I was down in Victoria grabbing some product um, not long ago, and she gave me some of this AG Volume Big Wig Root Spray. Oh my god, this stuff is amazing. I discovered it two weeks ago, and uh, so you just spray it in sections on your hair at your root, and then blow dry with like a round brush or whatever you're even blow drying upside down. I haven't have to, I didn't have to back home or anything, and um, it's it's really quite an amazing little product. So that is the AG Volume Big Wig. Love it. The other thing um, you've heard me talk about before, but I love the Kenra uh, Volume Spray. It's a, it's just an amazing hairspray. You guys probably know by now that I am a hairspray whore. I probably have like 20, 30 bottles of hairspray. I'm not sure what it is. I have like a, I have an obsession. An obsession that's probably not healthy. But anyways, this is this is amazing stuff. This is my favorite hairspray by far out of any other hairspray. It gives you mad volume. It's great for setting. It um, still leaves your hair pliable. It doesn't feel super crunchy. And it gives you a lot of shine. And I just love it. So I've been using it to set my curls and also just to um, finish the whole look off. So that's the Kenra Volume Spray. And we carry the Kenra, we carry Kenra at um, Studio One. So if you guys are interested, you guys, anybody local that's watching me, um, we carry this stuff. So, and I should also mention that Kenra is just like a really reasonable price point. Okay, um, so that's it for my hair, uh, for my body. Um, I talked about this before as well. This is the Delon Coconut Moisturizing Body Butter. I had a bit of a panic attack because I found this um, has really been helping my skin This when this type of weather. Like my elbows get super dry and like my feet and my hands and it's really quite a nasty little combo. But anyways, um, this stuff is amazing. When I go to the shower, I just slather it like from my neck down to my feet. Love it. I've got skin like a baby. It's incredible. And um, anyway, so I went to Winners and that's where I originally found it. And then I couldn't find it. I went back and they didn't have any. And so one of my subscribers actually messaged me and she said um, that I think they have it at Costco, which I know I've seen it at Costco before. So I went to Costco and they didn't have any, but I know they do bring it out once in a while. I don't know if it's like only, I'm not sure. Anyways, it's a it's a Canadian product, so I don't even know if you can get it in the States. But anyways, so then I went back. Oh God, I get totally get off topic when I start like doing this. So then I went back to Winners and found it. And they also had a few different other flavors, but I they had like a mango or something. But this is definitely my favorite. It um, it smells great. I can't smell. I don't know why I'm doing that. But you can see I'm like literally obsessed with it. I'll just like. Oh God, you should see my last tube of this or um, thing of this. It was like completely empty. I like had a knife in there. I was like just trying to scoop it up. Anyways, um, love this stuff. It reminds me of summer too because it has that coconutty smell and it's um, a good moisturizing body butter. Um, the other thing I have also been really enjoying and I got this with, um, I got it for free because I normally use the St. Ives apricot scrub and they had like a package deal where this came free and I've been using the, um, what is it, it's the Skin Door um, Moisturizer for my face. I have like a daytime and a nighttime but it just, it wasn't heavy enough. Like it's, my skin, I was getting patches like here, I'm not sure if that's like from blowing my nose or not and um like on my chin area like right in here and then on the top of my forehead like it was just incredibly dry and flaky i'm sorry if you guys are getting grossed out by that um and so i was getting i was super irritated by the whole fact so this came free and i tried it and i've been loving it and uh, so that's the saint ives i think it's a collagen elastin facial moisturizer it's been it's been really really awesome stuff i love it and I think it's, I don't know how much it is, but I'm pretty sure it's like three or four dollars, which is amazing. 
and it, it's light, but it still feels like you, um, you're moisturized sort of thing, if that makes any sense. And like even when I go to bed, I've even been, um, cause it doesn't sting your eyes or anything, putting it, um, on my eyelids and kind of rubbing it in close to my eyelash root. And I swear to you, since I've been using this for two, three weeks now, my eyelashes have grown longer and thicker. I don't know if that's just me being crazy, um, but it worked. Okay, um, since summer is over and we're all losing that healthy, awesome glow that we all normally have in the in the summer, um, I thought I'd pick up a bronzer. And I find it really hard for me to find bronzers because I have freckly skin. Um, and sometimes too, you see girls walking down the street and you're like, whoa, you overdid it, right? Like it's Jay Wow or Snooki from Jersey Shore walking down the street. Anyways, um, so I've been looking around for a bronzer for quite a while and I love, uh, I have a good collection of them probably. Um, this is the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. It's a mineral makeup. This is in the color Sun Bronze. As you can see, I've really been loving it. It is almost gone. I got I picked up another one the other day. But um, yeah, this is the Sun Bronze 022. And it doesn't have like a shimmer or anything in it. It's, it's quite matte. So you don't look crazy when you wear it. Um, I've been using it with a kabuki brush and just sort of putting it in and putting it in the spots where um, the sun would naturally sort of kiss your skin, right? Um, which is like the apples of the cheek. Um, sort of your T-zone area and your chin and it's just been giving me this really nice glow. So that's the Rimmel London uh, bronzer And it's really reasonable. I think it was like five bucks or something uh, People are always constantly 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 asking me what kind of mascara I use um, For the past three months now probably I've been using the wet n wild mega volume mascara <clears throat> this stuff is probably I think, I think it's like 4.99 or something it's really reasonable and it uh it works like a hot damn i don't i'm not sure what it is but i don't normally buy super expensive mascaras only because i don't really seem to like dry out so quickly and stuff and i probably go through mascaras i probably go for like a mascara every three weeks i don't know if that's normal or not um but anyways, I've been loving this stuff. So that is the Wet n Wild Mega Volume. Good stuff. Love it. For my lips, I love the Babor Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Cherry Lemon. Um, I got this from uh, Bella Cosmetica. And then I picked up another one. Um, so this is my second one now. And uh, I love this stuff. It's it really moisturizes the lips and it gives it a little bit of a color too without looking too crazy and um, It's great stuff. Love it So that's that's that and for my nails. I always go a little bit darker I don't know. It's just I gravitate more towards the reds and the burgundies and the purples and all that sort of thing um, Today I'm, I'm wearing a red. I don't even remember what it is I probably could tell you but that would require me looking and uh, but my other favorite that I've been wearing probably for like a month straight now is the OPI black onyx I love black I'm not well it's like as a hairstylist I swear to god it's like our uniform we we wear we all wear black it's like our thing anyways I love wearing this color because as a hairstylist, I can't wear gloves when I shampoo out color. And so a lot of times my nails actually get stained and like the skin around my nails get stained and you'd never know because I always have on a darker color. Um, I'm sure some hairstylists wear gloves when they shampoo, but I just, I can't do it when I'm shampooing out color. I just can't, it feels weird. I don't know the temperature of the water. It doesn't feel natural. It just feels so so strange, so strange to me. So, anyways, that's been my favorite color this fall has been the black onyx. Yes, OPI. There we go. That was my favorites, and um, I hope you all are doing well. I'll speak to you soon, and um, I think that is about it. I'll talk to you all soon. Be kind to one another. Mwah.